Hi, I'm Arpat. Here in this video tutorial, I'm going to show one of our products from NP IT Solutions uh, that is a barcode generator. A barcode is actually most essential parts of any manufacturing or products that you have, that people are actually doing business or to track the information uh, and to uh, to identify specific products uh, based on the serial numbers. Uh, and there are some different types of barcodes available here. Uh, right now, in our application, actually we support. Almost seven types of barcodes here: code 33, 128, EN8, EN13, QR code, UPCA, UPCE. Okay. So here uh, I'll go through you uh, the process, uh, basic common process that most of the actually manufacturer or people actually want to use. Or obviously our application, or we can integrate uh, barcode into a use like this system uh, that has been built on Zoho or any other applications uh, okay so here I'm going to uh, show you how the process is going to be on how the barcode can be generated basically this is our form this barcode form here we just uh, we just added basic very few basic fields just that it's not very easy but we can this is very flexible we can add based on your requirements, multiple fields, and exactly the workflow, uh, how you want to save, how you want to store your information in this form, okay? So, uh, here, uh, first of all, uh, this is a code, barcode type that you actually want to populate the bar. Right now, I'm going to select code 31, okay? And here is item. Uh, this is just a drop down field. Uh, you can add new field, new this one is all this one. So, this one I'm going to select. Here is actually I just uh, add a size and here's a color. This is something right. And here's actually data that is the data actually that you want to interpret, you want to interpret as a barcode. Uh, obviously, this data should be either uh, can be uh, should be entered in manually or this is can be actually. Uh, can be automatically generated based on the some business flow logic okay uh, so but now here we are going to add this one as um, something something that I'm putting this one this number this is something that you can put here and once you uh, click on submit then our system will generate the barcode and store this information okay so click on submit here and once it is successfully uh, generated then actually this uh, generated form or this record will be saved into the barcode report so here you can see this is the serial number this is the created time here is item here is obviously this information can be added more here this one here is actually barcode that has been generated here okay so you can see this one you can download this as well so now uh, this is the one type of code 39 i'm going to add another one this one is a 128. This one, this one. Simply just uh, the same procedure. Uh, uh, I'm going to add this one. Okay. Or you can do this. So this because code 138 can accept a di uh, different uh, parameter, different types of characters. So just uh, set this one. So you can see uh, this code has been gener generated. Okay. Okay. Now another types of here uh, EAN. Uh, obviously, this is there is a specific format, a specific uh, protocols uh, to generate the EAN eight types of uh, gener uh, gen types of barcode. You cannot actually arbitrary add this type of uh, barcode because uh, there is a specific or a specific protocol to uh, generate uh, uh, EAN8 protocol. So here is a specific protocol that you need to add this number and uh, just put this one. So this actually should be start with zero and there is a specific rule. Uh, this one has been actually discussed here. So just uh, you can 
if I do something let me show you if I add this on so the, if you can see there will be a lot here yes this is the you can see this has been a there is an error so you should actually put the this is a validation actually that has been done back and here so you can always do this one submit once it is correctly interpreted, this number, this uh, then it will be saved here. You can see here. Okay. So here is the barcode. Now uh, going to another type. So here is the thirteen. Here. There is the same. There is a different protocol here. So let me add this. That should be thirteen. The Z is here. This is here. So obviously this number should be. Uh, it's match with the EN13 protocol here. So then, let me show you again here this one. And now here is a QR code. Arbitrary can be selected any any types of item. So just uh, set this on. You can see QR code has been generated here. It's a similar process, the same process UPCA. There is a specific protocol to generate this principle. So let me generate the UPCA code here. Here is I just put the sample here. This one. So you can see there is an error. This EPC should be 12 bz Okay. So let me check this one. There should be another. Okay. Let me check this. So this should be actually validated here. So this one because because there is a check some DZ is not correct. Okay. So this number actually you cannot arbitrarily set. So. The, since there is a specific role to generate the UPCA, so you cannot actually put the Jackson number or something that is a, as your own. So there is a specific criteria. This, this number. This is I just copied another one example, another example here. Uh, so let me check this one. If everything is okay, then it will be generate the barcode. Okay, let me check this one. UPCA. Here is the UPCA code generated. Here. You can see these are the Jackson deleted here as well. So similarly, this is the last one here. Let me copy this another one. This one that should be a space. Okay. So if I delete the initial Jackson disease, let me let me let us see what is happened here. You can see here there will be a large message. EPCA must be system number system one or two. That means it should be. So here you can see uh, this UPC UPC E types barcode has been generated here. Now uh, we have already seven types of barcodes here. This is actually basic types of barcode generator form. Uh, I just uh, try to capture only the basic types of field that actually people might use. But this is this is this is something we can actually customize based on or based on customer uh, needs again okay. uh, let me show another uh, features uh, then how you can print <coughs> how you can print this type of this paint as well. <coughs> so if you want to print this uh, this barcode level uh, just uh, there is a button here you can see here We just uh, just try to build basic types of um, level printing and just uh, but this is something can be customizable adding multi different different uh, design uh, we can add text here this is uh, this is a very basic basic types of what uh, you can print here let me show another example here this one so this also can be painted here you can paint with uh, you, 
not only that you can create multiple types of uh, multi uh, multiple uh, records here let me check this one you can uh, paint multiple select here uh, I just like this one to the same types of here this is a multi label here that means you can see you can actually print multiple uh, label at the same time the same time here So this way, okay. Uh, obviously, uh, this can be customizable. Uh, so here, uh, I'm going to show another uh, another picture. Actually, this is a mass import here. So in some cases, uh, you might not actually want to uh, import uh, or generate the barcode one by one. So in this case, actually, mass import or mass generate generator would be great great if you could actually generate the barcode at the uh, multiple barcode or simultaneously so you come up with the solutions that you can uh, ex you can import your data and then system will process the rest so let uh, let me show you how this can be done okay so to up, uh, first of all you have to actually upload the csv file uh, that csv file uh, that you need to construct uh, based on your uh, requirement uh, or the data you want actually to populate uh, into your main database here so let me show you uh, here i just add a very simple to form uh, this is the barcode type this is the data uh, obviously you can add another column uh, another another column that you want to import your system at the same time okay. but right now i just add uh, two types of this is the very this is the mandatory fields that actually what type of barcode that you want to generate and piece of the data that you want to uh, interpret with the barcode okay so here i just uh, i have an around nine or ten uh, fields of data and here the different types of data and and purpose here so let me upload this okay And the next so you can see data has been uploaded to the system and now you just have to select this one and click on import here so once you click on import part on the system will actually automatically generate the barcode based on this data and this type you need to wait a while to complete this process based on your amount of data amount of uh, barcode that you want to generate here okay let me, let me, let me. so i just need to refresh this and you can see all the all the process that all the data that all the rows that we have imported actually the, the, barcode has been generated so if there is there there are there are any error then you can there get to be listed is in here okay so now you can simply export and you can use this uh, uh, barcode to further into a system to uh, to incorporate in system uh, okay so this is our basic uh, basic functionalities of our barcode generator uh, because uh, this can be obviously can be incorporated to your existing system and also further customizable based on your needs okay so thank you so much for watching this video uh, please uh, contact with us if you want to uh, have your customized applications for barcode generator based on our, your requirements okay thank you so much bye, -bye.